As I stood there, dressed in clothes that felt foreign and uncomfortable, I couldn't help but plead with my auntie. Please auntie, I don't like this. I don't want to dress like this, I said, my voice tinged with desperation, while I gazed at my reflection in the mirror. My auntie appeared beside me, her stern expression contrasting with the elegant attire she had chosen for me. You don't have a choice, Sammy, she replied firmly. I have paid for everything you've ever wanted, and I never got a word of thanks. Now, you complain when I buy you nice clothes? Do you not want me to buy you things, Sammy? Yes, I stammered, but not girls' clothes. Clothes are clothes, Sammy, she retorted. There's no such thing as boys' clothes and girls' clothes. But why do I have to wear a bra? Only girls wear bras. Without a bra, your top would look ridiculous, Sammy, my auntie explained patiently. Think of it like wearing loose jeans with no belt. You wouldn't want your jeans to fall down all the time, would you? This is nothing like that. I protested, attempting to escape the women's bathroom my auntie had dragged me into. She held me firmly against the wall and whispered sternly in my ear, Stop this now, Sammy. I pay for a lovely new outfit for you. I pay for your gorgeous new haircut. I pay for everything. Now stop being so ungrateful, or you can make your own way in life. Tears welled up in my eyes, and I began to sob. Seeing the distress I had caused her, my auntie turned me towards the mirror. Look at yourself, Sammy, she said softly. Look how silly you look when you cry. Try smiling, and you'll see how much nicer you look. I forced a smile through my tears, attempting to quieten down. My aunt wiped away my tears and ran her fingers through my blonde extensions. You look adorable when you smile, Sammy. I wrapped my arms around my aunt and mumbled an apology for my outburst. It's okay, sweetheart, she reassured me. How about we go home and start planning that Halloween party I promised you? Your cousin is really looking forward to it. Why don't you show her how excited you are for it? Here, use my phone. Back at home, my cousin received a message on her phone. She opened it to find a picture of her mother and me together. She smiled, thinking about how much I had changed since I started living with her and her mother. Halloween couldn't come soon enough, and I was determined to embrace this new chapter of my life. In the days that followed, I tried my best to adapt to this new phase of my life. My auntie's unwavering support and guidance helped me find some comfort in the unfamiliar world of feminine clothing and hairstyles. She was patient, teaching me how to style my hair, apply makeup, and choose outfits that made me feel more like myself. As Halloween drew closer, the excitement in the house grew palpable. My cousin and I spent hours brainstorming costume ideas and planning decorations for the upcoming party. It was heartwarming to see her enthusiasm and acceptance of my transformation. She treated me as her cousin, no matter what I wore or how I looked. The day of the Halloween party finally arrived, and I couldn't have been more excited. With the help of my auntie, I transformed into a captivating and confident version of myself. I donned a stunning costume that made me feel beautiful and empowered. My auntie insisted on taking pictures to capture the moment, and I obliged with a genuine smile, feeling grateful for her unwavering support. As the party unfolded, I mingled with friends and family, showcasing my newfound self-assurance. It was an incredible feeling to be accepted and celebrated for who I was, regardless of societal norms or expectations. My cousin, who had been my rock throughout this journey, was by my side, reveling in the festivities. The Halloween party was a resounding success, filled with laughter, music, and memories that would last a lifetime. It was a testament to the power of love, acceptance, and the willingness to embrace change. I realized that while my external appearance had shifted, the essence of who I was remained the same, a young man who valued family, friendship, and the freedom to express himself. In the end, that Halloween party marked a new beginning for me, a chance to be myself authentically and without fear. With my auntie's support and my cousin's unwavering friendship, I had found a place where I belonged, where my identity was celebrated, and where the bonds of family were stronger than any societal expectations.